and so then I get to walk around and this huge guy is is ready to just like pummel my friends. <laughs> and then and then he sees me and he goes, Oh, they with you? And I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. How's it going? You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Hi. Lee. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you get a chance, follow our YouTube channels. Hit the subscribe, the button, the bell, or whatever they do these days, mm. and follow us. Today, we got a very special guest. We do. Yeah, good friend of yours, huh? Well, you know, we've known each other. <laughs> we've seen a couple things. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, he's been doing a, a, a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. These Gotta guys, get into it. I, I've noticed a lot of your friends, they work. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You, don't, you don't work too much, but <laughs> they work. I'm on an it's, island. It's, what do you want from me? It's a prerequisite for Brooke. <laughs> he's, he's been on the uh, West Wing. He's been on JAG, uh, Beverly Hills he's 90210. Most recently, Hawaii Five-0, NCIS, NCIS Los Kevin Angeles, Bacon of the uh, Asian FBI community. Most Wanted. He's not the most Bosch. wanted, but uh, Bosch. Right? Yes. Yeah, my Bosch and, fans are not. And Tim, happy. I'm going to screw up your last name because Brooke can't even pronounce it. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Mr. Tim <laughs> Lewinboss. Is it I Filipino? Get, did I get it? Is it Filipino? Did you Luna, get it? I got it. I thought you were putting the space in for me, and then you said it. No, I did it. So I. So Good I'm Filip. Are you Filipino? No. Oh, so <laughs> it sounds like a Filipino last name a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and and growing up, you know, no one ever asked me that. And then I got involved in acting, and I moved down to L.A. and I was at this theater called East West Players, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. that's the first time someone's asked me. I think it might have been Roger Fan asking if I was Filipino. Yeah, and I was like, what? no one's ever asked me that. I didn't understand. <laughs> it. So you, now it's totally not Filipino. It. It's I not. assumed totally it was because you were in so, East West, so I assumed you were Filipino. Well, no, maybe so if you have so Asian, my, you might be. My birth name is Sperling. Oh, wow. Is, you white. So no. I'm Korean, German, and Irish. Oh. My mom, my mom remarried, and his name is Lunabus, and ah. he's French, Irish, and but the French is like south of France, uh, so there might be a Basque influence. Ah. You know, I got to say, you got a great voice. Um, there's, a, there's a guy that I've been following, and I can't remember his name because it's not his real name, I don't think, on Instagram, mm -hmm. and he's Korean, and he sounds mm. like... Barry White, the <laughs> deepest, really? the deepest gotta, baritone. I'm gonna send it to you. I had no okay, idea cool. you were Korean. Yeah, oh, I was gonna take a guess. And then he was my Korean. Mom, my mom was born in Japan and thought she was Japanese until they the end the of the war. Oh. And they were listening to the emperor speaking on the radio. They lived in Osaka. She was born in Osaka. Oh and yeah. Then, and when the when the emperor was speaking over the radio, they all started crying. And then the father goes, "Oh, don't worry, you're not Japanese." <laughs> <laughs> now does your do, does your mom speak japanese or korean she does she speaks both oh yeah. that's cool and how about you um i do not yeah so you're an kid, american i was i was raised. i grew up in a sea of white basically <laughs> yeah and, uh, and then uh so she tried to teach us and we just always rejected it yeah and then as uh as i got older um i started trying to take lessons uh -huh. at, KYCC, they used to offer free oh, classes. That's right, they did. And I think it was in the 90s. In the and, 90s. Uh, but every time I started the class, I would book a gig. And so then I would miss a week or two. And, and then I'd it. be like way behind. I'm the same. I was, I'm the same with Olela Hawaii. But I've been asking people of ethnicity, do they know their, their home language? And 99% nine of us do not. So really? it's making a comeback, though. It seems like everybody wants to get reconnected. Yeah. Wait, but Bro, what yeah. is the language? Because... Korean. It, okay, Korean. but <laughs> if you're raised in Japan, yeah. just because you're of Korean ancestry, we talked to the girl yesterday no, I know, who's just from like, Japan. Oh, just like right. us. We're She's raised. Hapa. This girl we talked to yesterday. Yeah. I mean, she okay. white. Her white husband. Yeah, no, it was. Father's it was, black. I mean, the father is Japanese. White mom yeah. is white. She Japanese through and through. She yeah. lives in Japan, but she don't look Japanese. She look Hapa, right. she like look you. Hapa, but right. she speaks fluent right. Japanese. Yeah. Her second language but is your, English. But your mother must and identify mom, as Japanese. So they, yeah, so they moved to to uh, Jeju Island. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, and so she s spoke with, you know, she learned Korean. She spoke with a Japanese accent. Right, 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 right. right. And, but she became the smartest girl in her class, her age on the island. You can speak and two so, languages. You're smart. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and she's still smart. She lives with us now, actually. Aww. And, nice. uh, yeah, she's great. And then uh, she uh, became like the flower bearer for any diplomats or anything. So like General MacArthur or wow. New Zealand Prime Minister, anything. Anything that came, she was she would present them flowers. That's so awesome. She, opened, she still remembers that. Aww. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. but, you know, going back to we grew up in Hawaii. 
and we are well i am hawaiian filipino chinese italian standard and i only speak pidgin so it's like i'm all screwed up i don't know nothing you know what i mean (laughs) barely speaking and i need to talk to you because (laughs) i I keep getting these auditions where i have to speak pidgin Pidgin. oh you gotta download the app tim pidgin 101 download the app it's free it's his app and i will uh, i will be your new pidgin coach i am a professor are you a dialect coach? yeah we're gonna uh, take a quick break don't go anywhere hanging out with tim luna boss Mm -hmm. like filipino luna boss don't go anywhere it's a hawaii thing For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HIFICU.com. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHIGHTHING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, hanging out with Tim Looney Boss. Did I get it right again? I think you're making it up. At yeah, it's more like bus. Bus, like Looney bus. bus. Looney bus. bus. Yeah. yeah. So, Tim, have you been to Hawaii? Yes. Uh, yeah. The first time was after high school. My high school graduation present was nice. uh, being able to go out there. And I went to Maui and uh, Oahu for a few days and then Maui. And then uh, I went with my wife and my daughter when she was like three, I want to say, two or three. And we went to um, uh oh, Kauai. Yeah, love Kauai. Yeah, and hung out there. And then I worked on Hawaii Five O, so I came that. So I came out for that, and realized I, I had our appreciation for uh, Oahu and Waikiki and stuff that I did not have when I was in high school. After of high school, of course, there, yeah. I was like, it's just like going to a city. Well, you know, you, well, in high school, you're probably high and drunk. That's why you don't remember much. <laughs> <Not a thing. laughs> I did <laughs> save. I did save my two white uh, classmates that had come with us, and uh, uh, the three of us were walking late at night. I had to stoop down to tie my shoe, and it was like on the beach. There's a restroom area, whatever, and I hear something, and so then I get to walk around, and this huge guy is is ready to just like pummel my friend <laughs> and then and then he sees me and he goes oh they with you and i'm like yeah <laughs> so goes, oh, no, and you're no. like i'm home yeah he looks like my friend nestor <laughs> i mean it's like do you remember when nestor you, i do remember he doesn't look like nestor. yes nestor when he was younger say they got the same beard mustache yeah, goatee no. yeah. eyes but when you grow up on the mainland being hapa and which is kind of like an alien and then you come yeah. here and everybody looks you like fit you because everyone's yeah. mixed race you're yeah. like oh yeah. my gosh this is where all yeah. of my ducklings have yeah. been my whole life which yeah. uh which episode of uh, 50 did you do what season um it, it was uh i played the father of there was the episode was about um a kid who was all hyped up on uh steroids and stuff huge guy and uh he was an athlete and i guess there was something in it uh that was uh tainting the product okay. and so uh people were dying he was one of them ah. and uh um uh, and i was the father and they they come and and you know ask me what's going on yeah so you know, did you get to uh, do ncis hawaii i did not no and i've you... done ncis and ncis los angeles he's been in not. the mix yeah. it's just a matter so, of time so yeah. how, the wait, and, and the one that's really killing me right now is magnum uh, Magnum because uh, one yeah. because I want to work with Amy or at yeah, least be yeah, 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 there. Yeah, but yeah. the other thing, and and I know some of the others, but um, the other thing is that I have once in a while a show comes along, and so NCIS was one of them where I went into producers sixteen times. Oh gosh, they finally hired me, and you know around eight or nine, and my manager's like yeah. going, "Tim, you can pass if you want." I go, "No, right. I'm gonna force yeah. they, <laughs> they I'm gonna, gonna see this through." So sixteen whether times, whether it's talent or whether it's attrition, they're yeah. going to. Hire Wow. <laughs> so that's how I'm starting to feel with Magnum right now. I was so glad when they got picked up. Right, you know, right, right, and, right. Uh, so that I still have the opportunity. You to have get, a runway. You have me. a runway, sir. Yeah. So yeah. Wait, how many NCISs are there? Right there, now? Yeah. There's only three. Oh, so you, you're going for the trifecta. You just got to get this one and you got all of them. Yeah. Oh, no, New yeah. Orleans. New Orleans got canceled. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, to I actually, I turned it down because I didn't feel I was appropriate for the role. For what? 
for the New Orleans one. You know, um, that's how you know you're good when you turn stuff down. At this point in their career, <laughs> Amy said the same thing. Yeah. At this point, it's really about like yeah. the, the the responsibility you have yeah. to make the choices. Because some actors are coming up, they can't make the choices. Yeah, they got to take sure. what they can yeah. take. But when they're in their position, they got to be like weighing it out going, of course. do I really want to perpetuate yeah. this? Yeah. Or do I, I want to? You know, and, and, and for me, it was uh, anytime I, this is actually when I, I've always been my whole career, even when I needed work, if I felt something I wasn't right for, I just said no. So would you at this age do a Viagra commercial? Wow. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the residual I pay heard, scale alone. I heard, for well. I, is, I heard they pay well. I heard they pay well though. They it's, pay well. I have no in terms of Viagra, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> You have no idea. Well, you're going to have to study it before you do it. We got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Tim Looneybus is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. See Dr. Oda at HEC Medical Clinic Honolulu Specialist in laser weight loss. You can see the change losing one to two inches instantly. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, that's Brooke, and we have Tim Looneybus hanging out with us, actor. Uh, do you write? Do you direct? You know what? It's interesting. Uh, I did direct uh, when I was younger a bit in uh -huh. theater and stuff and writing i really got into and i so i left acting for seven years uh -huh. when i reached this what one executive called a tweener stage i was no longer <laughs> uh -huh. a young buck but i wasn't looking old, i wasn't looking my age so they weren't hiring me for the older roles and i left for about seven years and then uh when i came back my full intention i just started writing right before i left um i didn't have time because i became an arts administrator uh -huh. but when i came back I, my thing was start acting because you know you can make the money that way, but writing is the main long term goal. Well, then all of a sudden, enter audiobook narration yeah. over the last year and a half, and I don't even write now. It's yeah. all about audiobook narration. But you know what's cool is when you're doing audiobook narration, you're actually reading a book, which is the yeah. hardest thing to do when you're busy. Dude, you know, unless you're on a plane, I, I just get to read bad scripts. And so now, <laughs> yeah. so now, now it's like, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And especially the nonfiction stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really, yeah, yeah, it's great. That's what my, my friend Doug says. He's like, man, I've never read so many books in my life. Right. You know, yeah. He's just reading every yeah. day. Um, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about uh, Hawaii more. You, you, when was the last time, when did you film that? When were you here last? Uh, that was, well, that's two different answers. So I filmed that in end of 2018. It aired in 2019. No, okay. I, no, I'm sorry. I filmed it in 2019 and, and it aired later in 2019. And then uh, I was just there uh, right before Thanksgiving with my wife. Oh, okay, and, and, uh, and did they did they cast you as a triad or a gangster? No, I was the other one. I was father. Oh, of, that's right. Uh, you were the father. Yeah. And well, I think we talked about that during. Yeah. The break, yeah. But. But yeah, I played a parent and uh, of a kid who died. Do you notice you get casted uh, for the for any type of role? Um, what is I the lane get, they put you in? I'm, I'm a lot in the um, special, not special forces anymore, no, but but uh, law enforcement. Really? Uh, you know, well, thus the JAG, NCIS. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So military and stuff. Yeah. You know who was in JAG for a little while was Stan Ege. Do you know Stan? Oh, everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. yeah. You know, I used I to do. Con a while, I used to we, do. We touch base on Facebook every Did so you? Often. I haven't seen him in years. Uh, Stan and I did stand up together for a while. Mm. And we I think did. he's been working again. Oh, he's been working a lot. That's another yeah. one. We should yeah. get on the show. He's I've, such a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. Guy. So do you keep in touch with the uh, the Asian circle? Uh, when we Brooke's not other. there anymore. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, like I saw Amy a couple times when we went out there in Hawaii. She's the best. Uh, yeah, she is. She and is. Uh, um, we, uh, uh, I was just thinking of things we don't need to talk about. Yeah, but, yo, uh, you can talk about whatever you want. You know what I was no, just thinking, though? We should no, have I'm a ticker. Saying, I still have keys to her place here. We should have uh, a ticker, a ticker the on this show with uh, right. every time somebody mentions Amy Hill's name. Oh. We've mentioned Amy Hill's name and we've done 200 podcasts she's like in 199 big, of them. She's a big connector to she everybody. Is. She she's really like is. a when, when, central hub. One of my first, very first roles was working on All-American Girl. Oh, yeah. 
and uh, uh, she, they all took me under their wing. And then uh, next thing I knew, I became Amy's escort to uh, every, uh, every event ever. <laughs> Not because I told them I wanted to start reaching, you know, meeting the community. Yeah, because yeah. when I first came down, I didn't. You know, I, I just wanted to, I, I wanted to establish myself as an individual before I got involved with the community, if right. that makes sense. Right. And so, uh, so then uh, she and I went to 22 events in 21 days. Wow. And, uh, Do the people uh, start thinking you were together? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, no one ever said anything. Yeah. You know, so Weird. Maybe, Weird. Maybe, maybe someone like Russell or someone had been her escort before me. I don't know. Like, so they were just used to it. But so uh, weird. Because um, when I would go with her to places, especially after she had her daughter, Penelope, right. they thought we were a couple. Together. No, really. Yeah. Bro Brooke, I went to Brooke's. It's the changing uh, time. I, went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hung out with Brooke one time in our whole lives that we've known each other. Remember? Kamehameha's. No, I mean to an we event. We hang out a lot. The but... Kamehameha's, the, an event. <laughs> It was your you mean after I was Miss Universe? Yeah, we. I right. went to uh, your. Was it a, a graduate? Um, no, you went to reunion. a reunion. Reunion thing with me. I went to a reunion yeah. thing to your school, and then it was in the paper the next day. <laughs> I mean, I had just given up a title, so yeah. it was fresh. <laughs> Stuff was fresh. So like, are they sleeping together? <laughs> we gotta take weird. a break. All right, don't go anywhere, Tim. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more. It's a Hawaii thing. Pacific Spray Wash is Oahu's number one trusted exterior cleaning service. We deliver a spotless job for all your pressure washing, roof cleaning, house washing, and solar panel cleaning. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHIGHTHING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Lanai Brooke and Hi. Tim Lunibus, actor, director, writer, now does voiceovers for your book. If you need a book published, he can do the voiceover. He has a great voice. I'm a publisher, though. I don't do any yeah, authors. Well, yeah. No, you were talk we were talking earlier about publish. You work with publishing companies. Um, are yeah. you writing a book? Are you doing your own book? No. If I do do a book, it'll probably be on my mom's life. Oh, good. that's awesome. Pretty, pretty amazing. You better do it now then. 100%. Well, I, I have like written out outlines and I've written stuff out and I keep asking questions. So my, my dad passed away uh, just before Thanksgiving in 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, and she's so she moved in with us. How old and, is she now? Uh, she's 89. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got to I got to tell you, Tim. So I just finished. I'm kind of almost finished with my book. It took me eight years, seven years or whatever. Wow. But I, my mom is 70. I will, I will screw this up. 73 or 76. Anyway, I wanted her to, to see it. So she has a chapter in my book because it's about oh, cool. everyone who influenced me to make me who I am today. So she has That's the longest nice. chapter. So one of my friends said, you should just let your mom read her chapter. And then I thought about uh -huh. it, thought about it, because I wanted to do it as a surprise. But then yeah. I thought about it. I said, if she leaves tomorrow... She'll never get yeah. to see it. So I let her, I gave it to her. I said, mom, I want you to read this, this book I just uh -oh. wrote. And, and I know she's going to start with the first chapter because she's the first chapter. And I left right. the room. And then I walked out maybe about 10 minutes later into, into it just to peek out. And she was bawling. Wow. It was awesome, though. That is great. Yeah. So if you can get something. Did she written, read the whole thing? She did. Yeah. What did she if, think of my chapter? Oh, no, no. She just read her chapter. Oh, okay. She didn't get like, to your. Brooke's in the book, too. I was like, yeah. what is yeah. she, why is it's she not returning my phone calls? Is she mad at me? What? It's basically about everybody who's taught me something growing up in my career. Uh, so it's like a, their story, how we met, and then what the lesson was. Because I believe everybody sent to you for a lesson, right? But yeah. uh, you should let your mom read it and get a reaction. Or maybe even set up a camera. Well, I, I have read, read her part of like what I wrote out before. And it was actually when my dad was still alive mm -hmm. and, uh, and they both were in tears. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. In good tears, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, like, you know, could go either kid. way in Asian yeah. families. Yeah. You know, you got to read the room. You, you know? don't embarrass me. <laughs> you don't know. Sometimes it could go either way. You uh. don't know. You don't know. Is there one uh, actor that you grew up watching that you've always wanted to work with? Or did you work with them already? Oh, that I wanted to work with. Um, because when I was young, I was in the Western. So was, my favorite was Clint Eastwood. And oh, I love Clint Eastwood. Brother was John, a John Wayne. But yeah, uh, uh, anyone that I would want to work with, uh, I would love to work with someone like uh, maybe a Miranda Richardson. Or, really? Uh, deep yeah, cut. Or, deep cut. Or, 
<laughs> I'm about to work with a, an Academy Award winner. I can't say what, but it's a film I'll be doing this year, and I'm excited. You can't say uh, the person's name, or you can't say the film. I Both. can't say either. <laughs> well, either? Oh. Both. Yeah, because one, it was supposed to be one Oscar winner, and then a new filmmaker came aboard, and she wants a different Oscar winner. Oh. So either way, it's an Oscar winner. Dang. And, uh, awesome. Good for um, you. Congrats. And uh, and it's gonna be. Uh, it might be out there actually. Really? Oh really? Well, yeah. that don't say that because yeah. that is a whole that people can triangulate, bro. <laughs> it's okay because Hawaii is a new spot for film and movies, so it's, you're it's, you're clear. We're hip happening yeah. and incredibly cool yeah. out here as a location <laughs> to shoot at. For but sure. I'm really That's looking awesome. forward to it. And uh, uh, well, yeah, we we want to talk to you some more about what you're doing oh, in I your career, but this uh, the show unfortunately has an ending. But we have some oh. nice parting gifts for we you. We got swag, bro. You've answered all your questions it's not the correctly Emmys, but today, it's so you got a perfect score. And uh, Brooke has some nice parting gifts for you. These are from Lanai personally. They're uh, they're his air fresheners for the car. So your traffic don't oh, stink. Yeah, okay. uh, they'll you know, look good in my wife and daughter. When you're on the 405, you can look at me. These are some shirts <laughs> coming your way. This is our shirts nice. from the 88 Tees. We got some taro chips coming to you, mesquite barbecue Mahalo flavor. Mahalo to the Hawaiian Chip Company and Thank Jimmy and the Jimmy crew. Thank you to Jimmy and all of them. Many Huni Max just sent us their new Many Huni Mac box. Uh, that's coming to you. It's a sample. It's got all the different flavors. Three macadamia nuts. Thank you guys two. so much so, for watching. Thank you, Tim. Congratulations on, on all your success. We look forward to seeing you in Mahalo. more TV shows and movies. If you Rock guys get a chance, shirt. follow us on YouTube. Right, we got the right. extended version of this very right. interview on YouTube. We'll see you guys next time. Ahoy ho. We're going to YouTube. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Bye. All right. Can we keep going? Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. This is the extended version. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you can know uh, when we get a new show popping Tim's up. Tim's going to swear. Day. We have a new show every week. <laughs> That's Brooke. I'm Lanai. We got Tim. In Korean. He's going to swear in Korean. Looney Bus <laughs> hanging out with us. Actor, director, writer. Uh, also, the man with the voice. Uh, Tim, have you done any animation yet? Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I just thought every answer. I love you so much right oh. now, Tim. Oh, you have no I love idea. it. That's a good one. You have no idea. You're the first one to do oh, that. I, I did animation um, fairly often in my sort of what I call the first act of my career. Uh -huh. And then I left for seven. And back then it was things like uh, Johnny Quest. Uh, oh. Max Hill. Uh, I did some video games. Uh, what video games you did? Because I know it's you, uh, Francois Shaw. How do you know all these Sean. video games? Oh, your kids. <laughs> yeah, my kids. I did the, uh, when the Xbox was first coming out, mm. it was Bruce Lee, uh, the Dragon Story or Story of the Dragon. Wow, that's cool. Then, and uh, I was actually a character that was meant for either Rutger Hauer Damn. or Julian Sands. Oh, and, bless uh, his heart. And because I was much cheaper... Holla. Cool, cool voice. Holla. I got it. I played trench coat. Wow. <laughs> Good for um, you. And then I did a Star Trek uh, away game. And, and I did, oh, I was uh, I with Tia Carrera. I did. Um, um, Tia did games? Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. No, it was uh, HBO uh, Happily Ever After for Every Child. Oh, she, I remember I was the, the mix-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Dang. Yeah. Do you see Tia yeah, around? Yeah. Hmm? Do you ever see Tia around? No, we used to run into each other she every so nowhere. often. She don't go nowhere. She passes her. Now. Uh, the last time I talked to her on the phone uh, when I was at East West Players, because I was trying to get her involved uh, with uh, our award show at some point. Oh, yeah. the but, gala. Uh, the that's 20th. when I was uh, left acting, became a business administrator um, <laughs> for seven yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. what? And uh, what? What kind of food do you like here in Hawaii? Is there anything that stuck oh. out to you? What is your go-to when you come here? God, you know. <laughs> You know what? I love the spam wasabi. Spam wasabi? I, 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 like musubi? anywhere? Yeah, like at ABC in, store? In like where are you getting your? Well, trunk? that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ABC, They're my good. Wife and I would start every I'm gonna, morning I'm going to give, give you some facts so next time you come back. Okay. Here all right? Go. Yeah, here we go. I love I love giving this spam wasabi facts because everybody who comes... I do food tours and everyone who comes here says, oh, they say we have to try the, the Hawaiian food spam wasabi. Because first of all, it's not Hawaiian. All right. It's Hawaiian it's style. It's yeah. local. Yeah. So it came from the Musubi when the Japanese came in early 1800s. They brought 
their version of rice. We started growing rice. Chinese started growing rice in the taro patches. And then only making five bucks a month cutting sugar cane, you had to fill your stomach. So they made the musubi and wrapped nori around it, right? And then World War right. II, we were introduced to spam. So now okay. we fry the spam in brown sugar soy sauce. Okay. And then we put it on medium grain rice and wrap it with nori. 7-Eleven, you want to take a guess how many they sell? Okay, but let's just put the caveat in here. He's in the club at 7-Eleven. Yeah. So you want to know how you want to take a, a shill, guess so. how many they sell? Okay. Oh, my God. Take a whack. Can't be as much as ABC store. Oh, they sell way more. 16, How is that possible? Sixteen to seventeen thousand. ABC day. stores on every corner oh in Waikiki. It doesn't goodness. matter. Seven Elevens on every corner of the rest of the around the state. Shut and here, up. yeah, seven, sixteen to seventeen thousand. Because we did a spam musubi collaboration with them. Who Here's did? the best part Who of this did? thing. That's funny because I was going to say like a oh. million a year, but it really <laughs> is like a million. It is, yeah. So when we did this collaboration, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but we went into the, the, the warehouse where they make these. There's machines that make it because there's so many. They invented a machine to that put makes the mold, the, spam the rice, and wrap wow. the nori. Yeah, yeah, even the wrapper is in a machine. There's two guys that sit on a pallet of spam, and they, have, <laughs> they wear gloves, and they have to open every spam can because of this. <laughs> The they don't have a machine that opens spam no, cans? No, I'm going to tell you why. Because the spam is cooked in the can. Now, remember before the before the pop lid, there was the key? Yes. They yeah, had to yeah, do it by yeah. hand, by key. So after yeah. doing it for so long, they said, they asked spam, can we redo this and put it in a bigger can? So they did it in a log for a little while, like luncheon meat. Mm. And what happened was because it's cooked in the can, it changed the flavor of it. And Hawaii people... Could Stop buying it. The sales went down because it says they it tastes different. They could tell the difference? We could tell the difference. Wow. They said it tastes different. So they went back to the regular can and they did the pop-up can to make it easier. But <laughs> right. two guys sit there all day and pop open spam <laughs> cans. But they never cool like, down enough before they have to pop them open, right? <laughs> I feel yeah. like someone at Stanford or MIT should get on this and Isn't figure out a way to crack the cans <laughs> yeah. for these people. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Foodland, we went to Mars. Come yeah. on, guys. Foodland. You, have you been to Foodland, our local grocery store? It's, it's like of, our version of Vaughn's. No, it's one of the last no. locally owned stores here in it's Hawaii. It's our supermarket. Yeah. It's like our Ralph's. Um, they have a shelf, like just, for example, the Ala Moana one. I was asking the lady, how many you make a day? She goes, 2,500 a day. They replenish that one shelf with Spam Musubi mm. every two hours. That's insane. Wow. That's how much we eat. That's why we have high blood pressure and gout in Hawaii. We're number one. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the most Spam Musubi. I, I would never be able to do that. Tim, like. the most Spam Musubi sold, 6 in the morning to 8 a.m. before school and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. after school because it's used as lunch now for kids. Weird. Wow. It's a lot it's of crazy. Your, and, and there's there's that's that's crazy, kind of cool, but also kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so uh, we got a chance to uh, work with Spam after we did the uh, food truck race. And if you go to the Spam Museum in Minnesota, me Minnesota. and my brother's pictures on the entrance. Minnesota. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So we traveled all over the world teaching people how to cook with Spam for three years. It's weird. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. So when you come, I'm going to take you to the best places to eat a Spam Musubi, okay? This, I'll be awesome. And that, I'll, I'll be out there when I'm working on Magnum P.I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Manifest it, brother. Manifest it. Uh, that's so funny. You know what? 7-Eleven wins every year for the best Spam Musubi, but I think there's too much rice. I'm mm. not going to get into it. They're your sponsor, so whatever. They were. We love 7-Eleven. I love it, but I think there's too much rice. I like it for me personally. I, like I didn't know there was even, a contest. Even there's a contest. Well, they win every year. There's a pageant for spam musubis. There is. They win every <laughs> year for the best He's spam musubi. He's sitting with the one, one each on either What's side. What's happening the to the world as we know it, Tim? I don't, I don't understand. Hey, Tim, do you make them at home? No. You know what no. you should do? You so know, it's, because I, I, I think because I know spam's not good for me. <laughs> Well, you can get, there's Moderation. 15 uh, different flavors now. And you low get sodium. Spam light, low sodium, there's a lot of oh, okay. turkey, bacon, uh, there's okay. all kinds. But I'm going to give you a little uh, life hack. Then I'll look into it because then I would make it at home. Yeah, you should. I'm going to give you a, li a life hack. So get a bottle of kimchi, make your Spam musubi, chop up the kimchi, put it underneath the Spam in between the rice. Mm. Spam musubi with kimchi. I did Bug not even ono. know that was a thing. It is so ono. So we started eating at home. We put kimchi on... Uh, uh, Italian sausage. 
Oh, wait that a, is a second! Great idea. It is so that's good. That's a great. It's like doing uh, onions or you know something. Wait, that's you so mean like good. you cook it together, like yeah. in the saute? Well, no, actually, I, you cook the sausage and right. everything, and then when I put it in, it's like putting in relish, but yeah. we put it in kimchi. Yeah. Look at there, him with his fusion. How it's uh, hot dogs does that? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, with the kimchi oh, okay. relish. Yeah, you can do it with kimchi relish. Yeah. Wow. We but have I, all sorts of kimchi now that my mom lived with us. Yeah. You know, Wait, so she's making fresh kimchi type style? No, oh. no, no. Oh, she just knows but where to go, go buy the panchan. She, she knows where to get it. <laughs> you oh. go to H Mart in the Korean. Hala. Right. Yeah. Hala. You know what? Uh, that sounds good because when I make uh, kimchi fried rice, I put hot dogs in it. So that. That's a, that's uh, a great idea. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that was yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. We can talk that's all day. That's the other day. thing I eat a lot is uh, I love kimchi fried rice when I get it. Yeah. Mm. And, and you know, kimchi is good for you. It is. It's good for your bowels. The, the microdome or whatever yeah. it is. The microcosm, whatever it's called. I was watching this thing the other day. Joe Rogan was talking to somebody and they were talking about eating. And he goes, I eat a bottle of kimchi every day. You should be eating a bottle of kimchi every Ro- day. Joe Rogan does? Yeah, it's because it's so good for your health. I you know, I was know. trying to think of, this is totally off topic, but I was trying to remember today when Brooke and I met. It's got to be East West. Either that or or the film festival. Oh, and, Hawaii uh, International or? No, uh, L.A. Oh, the uh, uh, with uh, Abe. Asian, was it pre-Queen Asian, or yeah, after or Queen? Everything's Asian post. I, never, I didn't live there until post Miss oh, Universe. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Miss Universe took me there. So, and then I met Amy and everybody. And oh, so you, so changed. Tim's in your the circle of uh, uh, Amy and you and Tim yeah. is Asian. Yeah, he lives in LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the acting community, yeah. but I know I'm, I know that. So I'm the web, stupid, the web is but, far but wide. There was a few people we had in here, and they were Asian, and they weren't in your circle. So that's who would asking. that be? I'm not going to say their name out loud. You said it off camera. I don't know how oh. old they were, but uh, <laughs> for those artists who came from the '90s, late '90s and early 2000s, uh-huh. we all knew each we other. We all knew each uh-huh. other. You know, it wasn't like we may not have liked each other, well, Tim. Yeah. Well, here's right. a good one. <laughs> Here, here's a good one. This is the reason I asked too, because Ernie Reyes wasn't in your circle. He's younger. And he's the same age as us. He's the same age, but he broke out much like a lot of those kid actors. They he broke out in a different generation. No, but he was he's been working. He did the Rocks new one, a couple of rock movies. He's done a lot of stuff. Yeah, stunt stuff. Ernie Actually, Reyes I, Jr. Is do you know Ernie and Tim? Outlier. Oh, I don't. And and I I would have to look online to see who he see, is. Not all Asians are in your web. He's an outlier. No, no, not anymore. Like, <laughs> there's so many out there now, which is a wonderful. Yeah, great now yeah, you don't yeah. have to know. I mean, other because there's realized, enough of us yeah things are really happening yeah, 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 is that yeah. i don't know these people right and that's a good thing is there an asian yeah. actors union no <laughs> we should just create one what we yeah. would take over the world that's what i'm saying <laughs> we'd but run it better be like networking groups and stuff yeah, yeah. there's like tape there's you know, tape but, there's but east west players and uh yeah. but but they're used to you know i even like korean american there was there yeah. were groups that would form and it was like yeah not just artists but also executives and stuff yeah. like that I no mean, i i'm was i'm really together. serious about it because you have the phil lamb community they all they're all together yeah. and they they bond yeah. together and try to yeah, they're really tight yeah move move, you know, move I was, mountains i was gonna say one thing i was really happy about is when i was out there it was totally unexpected but uh dream was uh oh pl- yeah yeah with jennifer paz and Joan at Almadea the hawaii and, theater and, yeah and and dd Dee Dee magno and i and giovanni ortega and, and these are all people that I hadn't seen in several years. years. Wait, who's the first name you just said? Pandemic. Which one? The first name Jennifer you said? Pa- Paz. Oh, Jennifer Paz. Jennifer Paz. Uh, Paz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in the Filipino film. Yeah, Latin yeah. That's world. why I think I know who that is. So a lot of but them But they are. were performing. We, well, we saw it out there, uh, uh, performing out there. Yeah. And right before, Amy Amy let us know. And right. so we all went together, and then we, we ate at Kim's. Oh, Kim's? Restaurant. Oh, Kim's? Yeah. I really, oh, Kim, yeah, I really. Oh my that. God, that's what I'm on that kick right now. I went there like four times last month. <laughs> Have you been to Kim's? Oh, in downtown? Yes, Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. She, uh, oh, Korean, so she's so nice, Kim. She's it's Korean. It's like lady. Irish Korean? No, she's like a gourmet Korean. <laughs> oh. Yeah? She does some cool stuff. But the name, Oh Kim. Yeah, I was like, like she Irish yeah, Korean? Yeah. What is yeah. that? I don't, I don't know why she did, did she did that. It was between McKim and O'Kim. <laughs> <laughs> either or. Oh, a kimchi burger sounds it could good. Go either you ever way. have a kimchi burger? I don't even know no. what that is. Oh, you so what no, you do is gonna, so you take hamburger meat, now. chop up your kimchi and put it in the meat and, and in you, the meat? Wow. Oh yeah. And then fry it? Yes. Okay. It is know. so good. And then you put okay. bulgogi sauce or kunjigun yeah. sauce as your yeah, okay. for your bun in nope. the, in the bun. You like uh, gochichun? Gochichun, yeah. Is yeah. that how you say it? Korean? What did you just say? Gochichun. 
Say it again. Kuchigun. Nope, that's not it. Okay, say it for us. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it the red one? Yes. Their yeah. version of ketchup, the spicy ketchup? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. He's yeah. the real Korean. How do you say know. it? Gochichun, I thought. But... Say it again. Gochichun? Gochichun. With a G? I don't Should know. Should I go grab it? No, yeah, okay. yeah, go out. No, drag your mom in. <laughs> yeah, Bring right. the source. Is, is mom near Take you? it to the Pico, bro. Let's say hi to mom. No, real quick. She's downstairs. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I could bring it to her. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's okay. So we're, funny. we're getting the sign <laughs> already to do this already. So, But thank <laughs> you so much for joining when us. When you today. come, you, when you yes. get to the Aina. Yeah. You could let me know and we'll do Definitely. a Musabi tour. Definitely. But hey, if you honestly, if you need help with your pigeon stuff, I think the next time you do a read for uh, Magnum, tell him, can I do one more read and then do it in pigeon? Uh, Francois is the same way. Swa is the same way. Like, And uh, he has his wife in his yeah. ear and it just drives yeah. him crazy. Every, every time cool. I go to uh, to do an audition for Magnum or 5-0, mm. I always gave them a pigeon version because they always casted me as a local guy and I would give them a pigeon right. version and it never worked, but... <laughs> <laughs> they, they always they always make the hollow why guy. Give, why are you telling me to do that? They make, well, because you're a much more better actor Talent? than I. No, I I always uh, I say that because they always would pick the Howley guy or the guy not from Hawaii and he's speaking yeah. pigeon and we're like, what the fuck is going yeah. on here? Because he can yeah. act. Yeah, that's, you I'm know. that guy. But he didn't act. Then you can dub him. You yeah, see, well, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey Tim, we should do a, a local co uh, cartoon. It's all pigeon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that would be awesome. Bye, pigeons. Little Thank you pigeons so much for joining pigeons. the show. Are you, you on the on the gram or Facebook or MySpace or Twitter? Yeah, I'm um, at Tim Lunabus for Instagram and and Twitter. You know, uh, and then Facebook. I have my personal page, and then I have a, a professional page, which is at Asian American Actor. Wow. <laughs> really? You just yeah. co-opted yeah. the whole thing, but huh? I'm not okay. very active on it, but okay. there's a lot of stuff on okay. there that can be checked out. All right, but Tim. I'm, I'm most active on Instagram. I'm going to keep my eye out for your daughters because, you know, they're coming oh, up. My, yeah. So when she gets – be, um, she bet, you better return my phone calls. We're going to have her on the she, show. Yeah, she is going to dwarf She's going places, this girl. Right now. All I'm right. been stalking your socials. So we'll, we'll get them on the show too, Tim. I got you. I'm following you. I'm following you. Oh, okay. That's you, cool. right? All right. Yep. You guys follow Tim Looney Bus. Uh, good luck to you, man. Congratulations Thanks. on all your success. We'll see you when you get Keep here. Keep repping the Koreans. Come oh, Samida. No boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. It's a Hawaii thing. It's a Hawaii.